can't be serious. His whole hand. We didn't have the heart to tell him. You should have heard him snoring. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought the taste alone would have awakened him. Mr. Reeves, I don't want to be rude eating without Reuben. Nonsense. Reuben won't mind. Uh, please, call me Anthony. Well, Anthony, if he doesn't get here soon, we're going to miss the play. I love the theater. What are you seeing? Shakespeare, as usual. Should be boring. Titus something. Titus Andronicus. <laughs> the boy does have his uncle's tastes. I'm sure it's just another star-crossed lover story. Cry me a river. <laughs> mm. The bacon in the salad is delicious. I only cook free-range animals. Organic food is much more humane. In every sense of the word. The story of Titus, however, is hardly Romeo and Juliet. It's a revenge story of the best kind. In it, the titular character feeds an unknowing mother, her sons, in a pie. I'm sorry. How rude of me. That's not like me. I've ruined the best part of the play. I'll get your sandwich. Where did you say Reuben was again? Something about being in trouble at work. Apparently he really got chewed out. Mr. Reese, I really must- Don't be foolish. You haven't even had the main course. You really shouldn't go out at this time in the dreadful dead of dark midnight. Shakespeare, Miss Todd, please sit down and eat. <coughs> Then I'll drive you into town. What? What is it? It's a Reuben, of course. Try it. Hey, what's wrong, dear? It's foolish, and I'm sorry, Mr. Reeves, but I saw the books, and, I mean, his name is Reuben, and the giant slab of meat, and I just thought... You thought that my uncle would cook me? I can't believe I thought you'd eat a human. <laughs> I didn't say you weren't eating someone else. <laughs> but seriously, you're eating a human. <laughs> <laughs> 